Aussies, Joes, and Schmoes, my name is Perdium, and let's talk about the top five male challenge beasts in all of Survivor. In my previous two videos, I dug deep and took a look at the top five female challenge beasts. So if you haven't watched those vids, I would strongly recommend checking them out because I plan to bring it all full circle by the end of this video to get an overall big picture of where everyone in Survivor stands in the challenge beast hall of fame, at least as far as the videos I have put out. Just before I begin, I want to mention that my canon list doesn't include Redemption Island duels, sort of. There's a bit of an asterisk with the duels. For the most part, those numbers are not going to be affecting this top five list. This ranking is a combination of win percentage across the entire season, pre and post merge, as well as considering the amount of individual challenge wins. It's not just enough to win a challenge in a group or in a tribe. It needs to be individual and the individuality of the win is going to skew that player a little higher. I do have a few tiebreakers in place and there is a little bit of subjectivity to this list, but that's the fun of it all and where we get to discuss who sits where in the end. So let's waste no time. Here are the top five greatest male challenge beasts in Survivor starting with number five. I work in the oil and gas industry. I'm normally the one that has covered the most in oil base, covered the most in mud. Same thing with this game. If you're not getting your hands dirty, then you ain't gonna win. And my hands are gonna be filthy. Perhaps the worst nightmare for an editor when splicing confessionals, as well as the worst nightmare for a man having to clean his dishes on his birthday. Number five, is Mike Holloway from Survivor Worlds Apart. No surprise here really, Mike won 58% of all challenges he competed in in one season with six individual wins, five of them being for immunity lest we forget, ultimately paving his way for a big cash prize in the end as arguably the greatest underdog come from behind victory we have ever seen in Survivor. Unlike many others on this list in this top five, Mike had to win to survive. He didn't have a choice. And there's no greater mark of a beast than someone who has their back pressed against the wall and yet continuously pulls out the clutchest of Ws again and again and played an idol and again and again and again. Blue collar, Texas proud, let's get dirty, 30. Can I do the honors of putting this necklace around, Mike? Come on over. Let's do it as a team. Yeah. But this is your moment, baby. Come and get it for the fifth time. Thanks, brother. Unless you want to give it to a brother, you still got a chance. Number four. While this top five isn't going to be the most shocking top five I have ever put together, I will say that number four is about to blindside all of us. This entry is going to leave a lot of people scratching their heads, but I got the numbers. The numbers are here. Similar to his exit in Survivor Game Changers, the fourth greatest challenge beast is Ozzy Lust from every other season of Survivor, arguably one of the most popular players of all time. Okay, <sighs> let's breathe. How is Ozzy not number one, or at least close to number one? He's number four. Explain yourself, Perdman. So, Ozzy has a near 58% win rate, just two spots lower than Mike in the big picture, but he's also won eight individual challenges across four seasons, several slots higher than Mike. Statistically, he is above Mike, no question, but he is not above the averages of the three men ahead of him. Ozzy did not have a great showing in Survivor Micronesia, and to some extent in Survivor South Pacific, if we don't include duels. And because of those two mediocre showings, they brought him down just a tad in relation to the three men above him. Okay, Peridium, numbers are numbers. What if we did include those Redemption Island duels? He did win a lot of them, what then? Well, if we did include those duels, then yeah, Ozzy is higher. In fact, he is dead tied at number one with one other player. So I guess, Here's the deal. If you don't count duels at all, Ozzy is number four, which feels weird, I admit, but if we want to count duels, he is basically number one, potentially number two, but I will get to that in a moment. I can just sense victory, and I didn't come out here to quit. I do have a plan B. Plan B is to win. I have plan A, win. Plan B, win. Number three. And now we get to have some fun. The third greatest male challenge beast in all of Survivor thus far. Everybody get ready. This 
is a blind side. If you thought number four was a blind side, hold on to your butts. I'm I'm not joking, by the way. This is legit not something I thought I would ever be saying. Number three, ahead of Ozzy friggin' Luss, is Bob Crowley. From downtown Gabon Town, out of nowhere, Bob is in fact the third greatest. Fourth greatest, if we include duels. Bob only played on one season, but he won 14 of 22 challenges for an impressive 64% win rate. Likewise, Bob won five individual challenges in one season. For an old guy, the oldest survivor winner ever, that's crazy. Remember how I joked in my previous video about beating a bunch of old people and that you need to consider your competitor pool when weighing this video subject? Well, I'd probably lose to Bob too, and I take it all back now. Mind you, Bob was against an Olympian in Crystal Cox, a buff surfer bro in Maddie, and let's not pretend like Jesusita Susie Smith was some walkover either. That woman won two individual immunities against Bob frickin' Crowley. Accept your reality, Bob is number three, case open and closed. Bob wins immunity! Five straight challenges. I see. Number two. Another player I didn't expect to be this high on the list, but you know, here we are. I probably should have, and this is more my memory failing me. Winning seven individual challenges in one season, it is Terry Dietz from Survivor Panama and Survivor Cambodia. Terry actually won an eighth individual challenge too in Cambodia against Savage and Jeremy, which I did count because, well, it was an individual challenge. Terry has won 20 of 32 challenges across two seasons, one of which he didn't even get to finish to completion with a 63% win rate, and like I said, eight individual wins to boot. This is really impressive stuff. I, I wish I had known just how good Terry was going into Cambodia, so I could have been more invested in his chances, because these kinds of numbers with Terry's capabilities likely would have gone up had he reached the individual portion of that season. In Survivor Panama, Terry won so often despite holding onto an overpowered immunity idol, the first of its kind, as well as competing against Aris, who was very capable of winning in his own right. Terry tied the record for individual immunity wins at five set by Colby back in season two, and what more needs to be said? Terry is a beast. Come on, Terry! Come on, Terry! Let's go, Terry! Deep launches yeah. and scores! Yeah, Takeo wins! Reward! Nothing yeah. for the Bion Tribe! Yeah. Yes, sir! Thank you. Yes, sir! Number one. All right, Perdam, you got one shot to get the number one person right. The numbers, I don't care what the numbers have to say. No surprise here, guys. This is not a blind side, at least not for me. It is Joe. Joey Amazing, the golden god himself. When you see him on your screen again, just know you are looking at the best of the best. There are legends, and then there's number one, Joe, a living legend. I once called him Golden Boy the Third, but you know what? He really is golden as far as challenge wins go. Consider this. The second highest win percentage behind Joe is Bob with 64%. If you include duels, it is Laura. Laura Moret with 66%. Joe has never competed in a Redemption Island duel. Joe never had 1v1 challenges out the wazoo to carry his numbers and carry the day. Joe is sitting at a whopping 70% win percentage over the span of three seasons. He has won 30 of 43 challenges. Ozzy, for comparison, has won 31 challenges out of 56. 13 more, or 37 of 64 if you want to include duels. You give Joe another season, and that number, that 70% number, is going up. Mind you, of course, a good portion of Joe's wins are in the pre-merge. They're not individual challenges, given he hasn't gone to Tribal Council in the pre-merge since Survivor Worlds Apart. I can't believe that is even a stat. That is crazy. Joe has won 6 of 10 immunity challenges, 4 of 7 reward challenges, and overall is the number one greatest male challenge beast in all of Survivor. Joe wins first individual hey! immunity. Joe wins his second individual immunity challenge. Joe wins his third individual immunity. Joe wins his fourth individual immunity, remains undefeated. That said, if you do want to count duels, Ozzy very much rivals Joe 
to an extent. Ozzy has 14 individual wins with the duels included, but then I can just imagine Joe destroying his competition all the same as Ozzy did if, say, uh, Joe competed in a long series of 1v1 duels for half a season as well. Not that I'm advocating for that to happen, it's just a strange bummer not to see Joe doing much on the edge of extinction when he could have been for sure cementing his number one status no matter what filter we apply. Keep together. Figure it out. This has to be where I'm meant to be. So, that's the top five greatest male challenge beasts in Survivor. And before this, we chatted about the top five women. So, big picture. Let's see who else fits in. I will put in the description below in this video the final standings that I have found thus far if you would like to see where everyone fits. There are a few names I haven't mentioned yet, such as Tom Westman, Boston Rob, Brian Heideck, and even Burton. If you're interested, take a look. And before we wrap up this challenge beast, the last couple weeks of talking about this particular aspect of the show, I just want to say that I didn't include literally every survivor in the history of the show because that is a lot, a lot of work. It already took a lot of work, to be honest, to get all of these people on the list. There is a very, there's a 100% chance that there are going to be a few people that you could slot even higher than the ones that I looked into in the top, I don't know, I looked at about 45 or so players. You could probably find a few people and slot them in above number 45, number 40, number 35. I didn't include them, but I want to make that I want to make that known. Either way, let me know what you guys think about these challenge beasts overall. Are you surprised by this top five? Not surprised? Regardless, my name is Pretty. I'm saying thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to throw the challenge on your way out, and I will see you in the next one once I too throw the challenge, because that to me demonstrates the most valuable skill of all. Listen to me, I'm giving it to you. What's that? Just listen to what I say, I'm giving it to you. I will call out the order but I'm gonna switch the bottles. Here we go. Spills at one and five. You have the two bottles and the candelabra. Gotcha. Kelly, think you're right or wrong? Wrong. Yeah, Kelly is wrong. By throwing the challenge today, a little something inside of me died in this game. I'm not gonna lie to you. Does too good for his own self. Like he's too much of the golden boy beautiful threat. Joe's the guy who is perfect at the beginning, wins all the challenges, builds the shelter, and then you slit his neck right when we get to the merge.